Hello dear students, welcome back to my channel. We are going to continue the next part of the 13th topic that's uh, population growth models. What's a population growth model? We have been concerned about the unbridled human population growth and the problems created by it in our country and it is therefore natural for us to be curious if the other animal population in a nature behaves the same way or shows some resistance on growth. The growth of population with the time shows the two patterns. So there are the two models of a population growth. The first model it says as the exponential growth model and the second model it says as the logistic growth model. So first of all we see the exponential growth model. What's that? When the resource availability is unlimited. This word is very important. When the resource availability it's a unlimited in the habitat. The population growth in an exponential or it is a ge geometric fashion. The equation is Tn divided by dt is equal to b minus d multiply n. Let's b minus d is equal to r. Then the equation it's a occur that is a Tn divided by t dt is equal to rn. When the population shows the exponential growth the curve plotted with the n in relation to the time. It is assumed as the J-shaped curve. Though that is the every species it is capable of growing exponentially under the unlimited resource. Means there is a no limitation of the resources. That is an unlimited resource condition and reach the enormous population. Density is in a short time. Darwin shows how even a slow growing animals like the elephant could reach the enormous number provided the food and the space remain unlimited. But the resources like the food and the space are not always unlimited. They may be in a beginning but as the population density increases so what happened here is the competition for obtaining these resources. Resulting is what there is a slowdown in the rate at which the original population was growing. This result in a logistic or it says as the sigmoid curve, growth curve. So the second one we see as the logistic growth model. What's a logistic growth model? No population can continue to grow exponentially. As the resource availability become limited. Means what? In the exponential there is a unlimited resources. But in case of logistic growth model. The resource availability is the limited one. That is it is described as by the equation. Dn divided by gt is equal to Rn. In bracket k minus 1 divided by k. What's that n? It's a population density at a time. Or it's a intrinsic rate of the natural increases and the case of carrying capacity. Next one we see the graph which is indicates the logistic growth model. That is it is occurred in a sigmoid curve growth curve. That is the first one is a lag phase, log phase that is a exponential growth phase and the last one is a stationary phase. So it is the sigmoid S shape curve. The next one we see is the logistic growth model as a competition between the individual for limited resources will need out the weaker one. Only the fittest individual will survive and reproduce. In nature a given habitat has enough resources to support the maximum possible number beyond which no further growth is possible. Let's, uh, let us call this limit has a natural curing capacity that is indicated as the K for the species in that habitat. A population growing in a habitat with limited resources shows initially a lag phase. This lag phase is followed by the acceleration of a decline and finally there is the population density it is reaches it's a slope. So it is says as the stationary phase. 
when the population density reaches the curing capacity. A plot of population density, it's a n. In relation to the time t, result is a, there is obtaining the curve and that curve is the sigmoid curve. This type of population growth is called as a verlost for logistic growth. Since the resource for the growth for most animal population are, are infinite and becoming and becoming and becomes limiting soon or later. As in case of it, the logistic growth model, it is considered a more realistic one. Under a particular set of selection pressure, organism evolved towards the more efficient reproductive strategy. Since the produced, say some produced a large number of small size offspring, that is the oyster and the pelagic fish. While other produced a small number of the larger size offspring, it's a birds and the animals, birds and the mammals. Hope so. You understood it. Thanks for watching my video. Stay tuned to my channel. Thank you.